Hey everybody, welcome to The Dose. Own it. <laughs> I say it to my youngest daughter all the time. Kid, you just gotta own it. You know, we'll be sitting there talking, mom and dad, you know, uh, talking to her, that is. Tell her to do something, give her some kind of tasking to do, and she completely blows us off. And I'll tell her, I say, you know, you blew off your mom on purpose. She'll go, oh, no, no, I go, I did it. Own it. You did it. Own it. Say, yep, daddy, I did it. Just take responsibility for it. Much better that way. And she'll go, mm, I did it. I go, perfect. Fantastic. You did it. You owned it. Here are the consequences. We're good now. <laughs> and it's funny about me is, as long as they own it, I, you know, listen, there's consequences to doing what you want to do instead of what you're told in my house. But those consequences come just purely in their purest form. Just look, A, you know, a equals B, right? Like, like you know, that that's just how it goes. But if you don't own it, then it's not just the consequence. Then it's the drama and the why are you lying to me and just admit it and then all that kind of nonsense. And so my family knows, man, that if you do something, just own it and then just take the consequence. Just take your lumps. Just own it. Take your lumps. And then we all get on with our lives, man. Everybody's happy. Mom and dad are happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. Everybody just goes on. So here's the thing, man. The, the, what's what's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? I try to live that same example in my life, man. If I make a poor decision, I just own it. You know what? I did that. I, it wasn't wasn't right. Shouldn't have done it. And you know what? It is what it is. My father used to say to me all the time, you say, everybody gets one. And what that meant to my dad and what it meant to me growing up as a kid was I could screw almost anything up one time. And as long as I took responsibility for it and as long as I was forthright about it, dad would give me a pass one time. On just about anything. Now you do it again, now we're going to have some issues, right? I don't do that everybody gets one in my house, but I do the own it thing. If you own it, you get the you get the bare minimum cut, you get the minimum sentence. <laughs> you plead guilty, you get the minimum sentence. That's the way it works around here, right? You plead guilty, get the minimum sentence, and then you can get on with your life. Usually minimum sentence is probation max, <laughs> right? Okay? point is, guys, that in life and in everything else we do, you've got to own it. You've got to take responsibility. Listen, if it's somebody else's fault that you're overweight, then somebody else has to change before you can lose weight. If it's somebody else's fault you're broke, somebody else has got to change before you'll get out of that situation. If it's somebody else's fault that your marriage is bad, then your marriage is going to stay bad until somebody else has a change of heart. Listen, the, the reality is you've got to have a plan for your life and you've got to take responsibility for your life. Who you are, what you are, where you are, where you've ended up is all a matter of decisions that you have made. And if you can own that, there's that word again. If you can own that, then you now have the power to do anything you want to do. You can make whatever changes you want. You can make whatever, uh, you can go in whatever direction in your life you want. But until you own it, you see, belongs to somebody else. And so, if you don't have a plan for your life, you'll fall into somebody else's plan for you. And guess what else somebody else may have planned for you? <laughs> Not much, <laughs> right? Okay. So you've got to have a plan for your life, but the only way you can execute your plan for your life is if you take responsibility for it, is if you own it. It's the only way. You know what to do. Go make it a great week, guys.